Hurricane Dennis coverage continues right here on the Weather Channel. Those in the Florida Keys have already gotten a taste of Hurricane Dennis. It's back to a Category 3 storm with top sustained winds of 125 miles an hour. In the meantime, all are wondering who is next in line. Hurricane Dennis has an entire Gulf Coast feeling vulnerable. Preparing for the worst while hoping for the best. Millions of residents along the Gulf Coast from Florida to Louisiana are in that mindset tonight. Welcome to the Weather Channel's continuing coverage of Hurricane Dennis. I'm Carl Parker. And I'm Warren Madden. Hurricane Dennis lashed the Florida Keys earlier today and it has been strengthening all day as it heads for a direct hit on the central Gulf Coast. And you can see just how strong the winds were as the outer bands of Hurricane Dennis passed through the Florida Keys. 60 to 70 mile an hour winds gusting to 80 in spots came into the Keys earlier today. Sheets of rain also fell down. Many streets impassable and conditions were miserable for a time. Let's take a look at the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. The 8 p.m. Central centered 275 miles south of Panama City moving off to the northwest at 13 miles an hour. Top winds at 125 miles an hour. Latest in from the hurricane hunters 941 millibars now. This thing has dropped over 25 millibars in just about 12 hours or so. Uh, just the central pressure has been dropping like a rock and that is just a very dangerous storm continuing to gather strength here in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Here's a closer look at the storm. It has a very tight core. The hurricane force winds only extending out 40 miles and the eye is only 10 nautical miles across. The tropical storm force winds extend out to 175 miles. We've had squally weather through much of the state of Florida through the day today. There are the advisories. We have hurricane warnings now in effect from the Pearl River to the Steenhatchee River in northwest Florida. Let's look at the timeline now for Dennis as we progress project into the future. As we look to the overnight, we're going to continue to see the wind and the waves increase here along the central Gulf Coast. And then as we move to the morning hours, conditions will rapidly deteriorate. And we're expecting landfall sometime during the day into the evening hours on Sunday, depending upon the speed. And that's where we'll see the peak impacts. And the projected path of Hurricane Dennis tracks right over right now Pensacola Beach, Florida. That area in the Florida panhandle is weary of storms after, after last year's hurricane season and everyone there is watching the storm. The Weather Channel's Jim Cantori is down there in Pensacola Beach. We join him now. And Jim, if this thing makes Category 4 status, makes landfall as a Category 4, we're going to be talking about history here. We are, Carl. We have never had, uh, as far as records show, a Category 4 hurricane hit the U.S. in the month of July. And of course, we are all hoping that we don't make history with this hurricane, that's for sure, because it is going to be a dangerous one, even if it's a major, which it will at least come in as. You can see behind me here the beach marina. We are on Pensacola Beach tonight. This is the last marina here before you head on off the beach, which we will be doing later. We will not be here, obviously, when this thing uh, comes ashore tomorrow. But. I want to show you some of the outer bands that have come on through tonight. This is a shot uh, that we looked at a little bit earlier as we were just beginning live shots just a couple of hours ago. And you can see this ominous looking squall line coming our way here. This is kind of the leading edge, if you will, or what we call this outflow, the cool air rushing out of the cloud, creating that low gray base. And of course, with the setting sun hitting it, that just made it very, very dark and looking ominous. And of course, we just had wind gusts about 30, 35 miles an hour with that and very, very little rainfall. That rainfall now off to our west, as you can see from the radar here, has really broken up. We look to our east over toward Panama City, and you can see another light band coming our way. Nothing like that we uh, dealt with, though, uh, earlier on tonight. There will be more and more bands. They will unleash more and more wind as we go on through the night tonight. Certainly, we could be 50, even 60 miles an hour as we go on through the day tomorrow. Well, I mentioned this beach marina here. Mr. Chuck Nicholson actually owns this. He is not only the owner of this business, but a landowner and a homeowner as well here. We got a chance to talk to him about Dennis and his thoughts on that dilemma. Uh, this morning it was pretty emotional when I got up and looked at the news and saw it was still coming this way. Somehow when I went to bed I was thinking it would turn off hopefully, but I'm pretty tore up. I mean, I told my wife I'd never sell it, I'd leave this place for my kids, but one more of these I might give. It might be all I can take. So many people we've talked to this week that live out this way are saying, you know what, Dennis may be my break point. And at the strength that it's at, and it could be, guys, it very well could be many, many people's break point. We'll keep you posted here from Pensacola Beach. Back to you. All right, Jim Cantori, thank you so much for that report. Let's get the latest now from Warren. And as Hurricane Dennis moved across Cuba, it dealt big problems here as well. Waves crashing ashore, 
debris littering roadways. Ten people reported as having died as a result of the hurricane, and cleanup efforts are underway. Now, this thing has been going for a while here, formed in the eastern Caribbean. Tropical storm shortly thereafter became a hurricane here south of Haiti, glanced by Jamaica, and then really hammered Cuba. And since emerging out into the Gulf of Mexico, it was weakened over Cuba, but then it has just exploded again here. And there we see it, 125 mile an hour top winds tracking off to the northwest at 13 miles an hour. Here's a look at it again. This eye is only about 10 miles wide, a very compact eye and very symmetrical. Signs of a storm that has its act together. And that's not good news because it really doesn't look like this thing wants to weaken it all before making landfall. And let's look now and see where those warnings are posted. The latest advisories have not changed these, so they've been pretty consistent. And they're stretching from the Pearl River here in the western part of Mississippi, eastward toward the Steenhatchee River in the Big Bend area of Florida. And it's just amazing that we're in the second week of July. It's it just, it, hopefully this isn't setting the precedent for the rest of the season yeah. because boy, it's certainly gotten off to a, just a very strong start here in 2005. Yeah, let's hope not. Mm. Well, as you can tell, we're in the middle of a wild weather weekend. Our live coverage continues as Hurricane Dennis rushes towards the Gulf Coast where over a million people are under evacuation orders.